We've all seen those UFO headlines, you know, in the supermarket or checkout counters with the tabloids. Well, Peter's talking to someone who's seen them not in the headlines, but in the movies. That's Peter? the UFOs we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Pena is here, and you saw the uh, headlines in the supermarket also. But let's talk about these little gizmos and batteries not included. That's the name of this movie, and it's about flying saucers, sort of. Sort of. It's about, it's a family movie, and it's about a miracle. Um, these are five people live in this abandoned building, in this building that's about to be torn down by this, who, someone who wants to make a big high rise. They refuse to move, but they wish and wish and wish, and then one night, <laughs> go see the movie. These, these little fix-it <laughs> gadgets show up. Anyway, why don't we uh, show a clip so everybody can figure out uh, who Elizabeth is in the uh, movie and all that. Hume Cronin's in it, too. Hume Cronin and Jessica Tandy. Right, okay, let's take a look. Not toys. You can't buy these things at Macy's. I tried the army. They told me to call you. No, we, uh, are you missing anything in the way of experimental aircraft? Not a word. Not even in the post. No, well, they're robots, right? They're they're auto gyros. They're they're smart bombs. They're, they're microchip hovercraft. They're spaceships. You can tell just by you looking at them. Spaceships. Sure. Thing, yeah. From a very small planet. Very small. <laughs> very small. He says. You have been in Down and Out in Beverly Hills, La Bamba. Uh, another one that slips in my mind right now I that I haven't Dora, seen. The ABC show. I married Dora. Yeah, I've seen the other two, but I didn't see that. <laughs> I never watched the other networks. You know that. <laughs> uh, but in any case, is this something you set out to do? You said, I'm going to be an actress, and that's it. Go? Yeah. I, I made up my mind when I was eight. And uh, haven't stopped since. There's been a lot of times when I wasn't in the movies. <laughs> but... Always wishing. It's one of those things. You you went to work in L.A., right? And mm -hmm. worked at whatever you could find to work at, and uh, went to the cattle calls and all that kind of stuff. Is that no? You no. Didn't, you didn't go the hard no. way. No, I I I grew up in New York, so I did most oh. of my work in New York. Two years ago, I decided to leave New York and move to L.A. to get my helium balloon popped because I didn't want to walk around with illusions of. But it didn't pop. Things that did. And I got in, and after six months of. Um, not being able to get arrested, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, got down and out in Beverly Hills, and after that, things just seem to follow. Once, up. once it starts rolling, it just keeps rolling. Huh? Yeah, God bless. <laughs> That's one of those things. It, it turns into a business at that point. After it starts rolling, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. That's all, there's always is the next job going to be there. There's always that. But so far, they've been following up one after the other. Elizabeth, thanks for coming in to Thank talk to us. Thank you for inviting.